In minute six of the last Uganda Premier League game as league champions Vipers Sports Club took on relegation-bound Police FC at St. Mary's Stadium in Chitende, the referee paused the game for a minute to allow Police FC captain Tony Maweji bid farewell to the hundreds of fans who turned up to watch the match. Maweji says this was the best moment in his football career. The, the feeling was really so awesome. Uh, looking at the stadium, everybody standing, clapping and uh, uh, shouting my name. I felt, uh, uh, I felt appreciated for all the time I've been playing football. I, I felt so good. That was a moment that uh, brought up all the memories uh, that I was on the pitch, uh, that I delivered when I was on the pitch, when I scored goals. That is the moment I felt appreciated for way back victories I put up uh, for the Cranes and all the teams I've been playing for. Maweje, who was substituted in this match after 75 minutes, called time to his 19-year football career immediately after this match. He tells us it was not easy to quit. It feels kind of uh, emotional. You feel like you are living... Uh, the stage, you are living something that you've always loved to do, something that gives you happiness and putting off the armband and giving it to another guy, it, 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 it is a, a sign that all the responsibilities now are coming to you. The standing ovation was given to Maweje in minute six, which has always been his favorite number on the pitch and also his best shot number. When I had just started uh, watching uh, football on TV, uh, there happened to be a game. Manchester United was playing Real Madrid in the Champions League, and uh, <coughs> uh, there is a guy in the Real Madrid side uh, by names of uh, Fernando Redondo. He was really a good, good midfielder. I liked him from that day, and he made me love. <coughs> he made me fall in love with uh, shot six, and ever since. Uh, that time I, I loved uh, n number six and I've all the time uh, put on number six. Wherever I went, it would be the first shot I asked for. Maweji returned home two seasons ago from Kuwait where he was playing professional football. We asked him why he chose to end his career on home soil. I decided to give these two seasons to come back here and inspire the young boys. Uh, those that uh, did not see me play those that maybe would want to come and interact with me, ask me how have you made it uh, there to professional, how have you uh, managed to play for this long. I know because so many boys have been asking me this and I've been inter interacting with them. So I decided to do this for them, to inspire them and uh, 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 secondly for my fans. They are those fans that have not uh, been following um, the leagues I've been playing in. Uh, and I wanted to come back and give them the, that final, final blast. And they see they are their player playing, playing for the uh, last time uh, in, in football. So I, I did it for bo basically for the young players and my fans. He turned professional in 2009 at IBV in Iceland after the 2008 Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup. He says professional football shaped his career. When I went to professional, my game uh, changed totally from where, from what I was playing when I was here because uh, I, I, I didn't know a lot of things. When I reached there, I, I got to know that, oh, I've been missing a lot of things I didn't know. Maweje now is targeting to prepare the young football generation to learn professionalism from home. Uh, I want to uh, do something that uh, I prepare the kids, the, 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 the things I've learned from there. I pass it on to the kids so that by the time they reach uh, uh, their time of going for professional, they are ready because for me, I happen to learn them from there. Now for them, I want them to learn them from here. Tony Maweje's 19-year football career has seen him play for five Ugandan clubs and five other clubs abroad, including in Iceland, Norway, South Africa, Albania and Kuwait. Sam Poza, NTV Sport.